Testing the audio. There we go. Sounding good. Looking good. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I am your charming, self-proclaimed yet still humble host, Muckluck. And today, we're coming back at you with more RPG goodness. Starting in the world of Guild Wars 2, I will be doing some Last Epoch later. They have done some more patches since the last time I was in there. And we're going to see what all they fixed and added to their uh, beta game. Um, tomorrow we will be uh, spending 100% of the time in uh, Guild Wars 2 in the raid with uh, people who are going to be trying to train me how to raid in Guild Wars 2. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be fine once I know the fights. I'm pretty sure the first few fights I'm going to be a train wreck though, so <laughs> we'll see how good they are at explaining things. <laughs> Uh, currently rating my home instance for stuff, and as I wrote in the title description, I got mail, like physical mail, <laughs> ooh, physical mail, not in-game mail, from Arena Net today. And I'm gonna wait till we get a little bit more of a crowd, and then I will eagerly show that off. How to train your mug, how to wreck your mug, oh my. Alright, uh, additionally... Um, I checked with uh, some other people in the partner program because yeah, I, I don't want to do anything to bend or break the rules. I, I want to stay on very good graces with them. Uh, Arsenal Gunner, thank you for the thank you for showing the love, buddy. Appreciate you. Thank you for that lurk. Um, I what was I say? Oh, so I don't want to do anything that would like break the end user license agreement or even come close to that. Nothing like that. So I asked them. I said, "Hey, a lot of people have recommended these mods." Boom, boom, boom. I laid them out. I said, "Are these okay?" And the consensus was yes. It's fine. fine. And so with that, I spent the few spare minutes I had today uh, downloading one such mod and figuring out how to work it and getting it set up. And I'm going to show you guys that as well, because it's pretty cool. Uh, let me salvage this real quick. Okay. I have done... What have I done? What have I done? I've done the... Uh, I've mined out the two instances. I've done my home instance stuff. I've bought the fractal boxes. I need to go do the fractal keys and then feed the monsters. So what is this surprise? I'll tell you in a few minutes, Wistful. I'm going to show everybody. Uh, D-Doc, I have not played anything but Guild Wars 2 in months, and I had decided that I was going to be playing some Last Epoch tonight before I got the mail. So it's, it's unrelated, but I will, I will show it to you in a little bit. You will, uh, uh just, just one, just one Peter's now. Okay, I'll, I can show the mod right now, so check this out. As many of you know that have played, uh, Really, if any of you have played Path of Fire, you can bind each of your kit mounts to a key. For example, for me, uh, the Raptor is Z, and the War Claw I've got is Alt Z, and the Jackal I've got is N. And you use up a lot of buttons, okay? There's a lot of mounts, and you use up a lot of buttons just for mount up and get off your mount. So the very, uh, so how many are there? There's eight, there's eight different ones. So what I downloaded today was this. So essentially, I can hold down a key, mouse over a mount, and release it to get on that mount. And this was something recommended to me by other people who view the stream. I had never heard of it. And I was hesitant to use it for a while because I wanted to make sure that it was uh, within the end user license agreement. Because of course, as an ANET partner, they watch me closer than other players. I gotta make sure I'm a good boy. And I was told that yes, it, it's fine. So I got this working today. So at this point, I've set up one button and I can just hold down the button, move the mouse in a direction and then release to get on the mount of my choice. So like radial right is jackal, radial up is uh, bunny, radial dead center is griffin, radial left is raptor, and radial down is skimmer. And once you get in the habit of that, and of course you can hold it down and be like, uh, oh, I need that one. Once you get in the habit of it, you don't, you need one button. You need one simple button and that's it. And um, I, I wasn't really planning on plugging this or anything, but I am happy to help other people. This right here is the, what, as far as I know, is the safe website. I found it from a YouTube video recommending it. 
That is where I downloaded it. And I'm only gonna plug that once, but that right there is what I installed to get this. Um, and uh, honestly, the artwork for this this is really nice considering this wasn't made by the Guild Wars team. They did good. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's it. So uh, that is the add-on I got. I'm later on, I'm planning to try out Taco. There's an add-on called Taco. It's like technical, blah, 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 blah. Everyone calls it Taco. It's the something overlay. Uh, technical something something overlay. But, okay, what do I need? Fractal keys. Uh, the Taco overlay allows you, if you ever played WoW, it's got like Tom Tom waypoints in it. Uh, and also it allows you to, um, supposedly, this is the reason I want to download it, set up build layouts. Like, hit one button and your talents change to the healing spec. Hit one button, your talents change to PvP. Uh, or soloing. Or world versus world. Um, and if I can attach equipment sets to that, I want that as well. Uh... Oh, Mikey, that's Arc DPS. The equipment set thing is Arc DPS. Oh, okay. Then maybe I need Arc DPS then. Okay, I'm glad you guys were here to correct me then before I spent too much time on that. Um, there was, however, a YouTube video I watched uh, that was that sort of made me want the taco mount. The, ta the taco mount? What? I want. I want to ride a taco into battle. Uh, hold on a second. There was... Let's see, that was... Uh, that's not a... Here, 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 okay. No, 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 mute this, mute this, mute this. Okay, so this is someone using the taco overlay to find all of the defluorite nodes in this zone. It basically just shows them exactly where to run to pass over every single defluorite node in this zone for fi for farming defluorite. The the fact that it overlays the game like that is amazing to me. Isn't that cheating? Um I don't think so. I was told I, I was told specifically by other Anet uh, partners the taco, because I, I specifically said, is the radial overlay, taco, and RTPS safe within the EULA? And I was told, yeah, those three are fine. So, uh, defluorite is a, um, I have to leave the fractal room before I can show you, but I will show you. Because I actually had to farm some today on my lunch break, and I'll show you why. Uh, no, not that, not that, this. Da -da -da, 30, bye. Okay, and leave here. Uh, make sure to download Tickets Workshop stuff for a lot of that. Okay. I will say, with what you guys told me in the last few minutes, Arc DPS is my next one because you guys told me it can do the save the builds. Does it just save the talents? Or, I'm sorry, specializations? Or does it also save your equipment? Like, can you hit one button and swap equipment and talents with Arc DPS? That's what I would like. Awesome. That's what I want. Okay, so let's do this. Open. What? Oh, some of them are still in the uh, Black Lion marketplace, I think. Hang on. Okay, cool, cool. Because, uh, you know, obviously in PvP, I would love to hit one button for my weapons to be correct. Um, everything else in PvP doesn't matter. We all, we all know that. Uh, World v. World is its own category. PvE, I swap between healing and fractals and raids and a solo build uh, when I'm everywhere else. So I would love to have one button for that so I don't make mistakes. Uh, okay, there we go. Accept that. And consume all. Use now, all. This is a fine. And I got five more keys free of charge. Excellent. Deposit all mats. And let's sell the junk. Uh, but, uh, recommend waiting to install Arc though. The build template is a bit buggy because of today's patch. Okay. Well, uh, at the very least, I'm giving him another day because I'm not doing it right now. All right. Sell junk. Man, I didn't even look. How much money did I get? I'm not even sure. I'm at 349. Oh, uh, the plus 11 agony infusion I crafted the other day sold. So I made like 15 gold off that almost. So that was cool. 
If you have legendaries, it even swaps the room sigils of users and the stat select. Nice, Bayorn. That is awesome. Yeah, we were we were playing with uh Hold on. We were I got these icy gauntlets and we were Okay, sorry about that. I hit the wrong key and I muted myself. We were playing with an ice theme yesterday. So now like it looks like Frostfang uh, g grows out of the gauntlet. I don't know if I'll keep it, but it was a fun idea. All right, let's put our weapon back. Uh, Goose abides. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. Okay, uh, what's left? We need to feed the monsters. Okay, defluorite. Um, I th I believe it was Mr. Skids asking what defluorite was. This zone down here, which is no, not that one. I lied. Um, the one with the cube. This one. This one. Uh, there's this. This is a giant cube in the sky, similar to Radasum. It's a, a different Rata. Rata Primus. Um, it's a bad Rata. Uh, this zone has these mining nodes called Defluorite, and you get Imperial... Imperium Fragments, uh, the pink ones, out of it. But you also, like, every third or fourth hit, you get one piece of Defluorite. And the Defluorite is used as a currency within that map for the Karma Merchants. The big thing... The big thing is this. This took 75 to fluorite and 200, almost 200,000 karma. The prototype position rewinder. All the overpoweredness of a Mesmer ultimate without having to play a dirty Mesmer. I know, you're excited, but wait. Wait until you see it. So you double click it and you equip it like an engineer kit, okay? You hit one to mark your location. Let's say you're in a jumping puzzle and you're about to do a big jump and you don't want to have to get back to that point. And let's say you jump and you're like, oh god, I missed the jump. I'm falling into the lava of the Chalice of Tears. Hit two. You're back where you started. Uh, you can do that as much as you want, but marking the location has a one second cooldown. So you can change the location you've marked at will. The rewind, which you can do in mid-air, has a 30 second cooldown. So as long as you wait 30 seconds after each mistake, you can now do, any, with this item, you could do any jumping puzzle in the game on one go through the whole thing. As long as you wait for it to recharge after each failed jump. And I needed this for Chalice of Tears, because I spent 40 minutes there, and I couldn't get over halfway through the puzzle. So this was a goal of mine. As soon as someone told me about it, and I saw what it was, I was like, I'm, I'm farming for that. And I had to get... Uh, in clearing out Sandswept Isles, I got like 38 to Florida, And then I got the rest of what I needed to 75 by hard farming. <laughs> I feel dirty just watching you use that. It's gonna, it's gonna make Chalice of Tears possible. Who are you calling a Dirty Mesmer? Bayorn, I'm only calling Dirty Mesmers Dirty Mesmers. Nobody else. Okay. Um, feeding the monsters. Let's do that. And the reason I needed a Chalice of Tears was to get another one of the monster minions that I could feed fragments to each day. Interested in something specific? So, look at this. Look how many Imperial Fragments I've got right now. This is insane. Ah. <sighs> I'm actually getting low in bloodstone dust. I'm gonna have to stop doing converters on it pretty soon. Rare and valuable. All right, feed them dust, feed the ore, feed dust slash fragments, Need a head and feed dust slash dragonite ore. Excelsior. Okay. All prices we have are fed it all. I summon the power of the storm. I summon the power of Grayskull. Right. Exhilarating. Yep. So, as you can see, that's what my ascended mats are looking like right now. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Let's open up the monster pods. See what we get. Valuable. Gold doubloon. Haven't seen one of those in a while. All right. Uh, I'm a Mesmer main in my dirty, who knows? Obviously not you, our valued viewers. Uh, Atmok, the stuff I sent you Discord, just check out off-screen. It's another add-on I thought you'd like. Right okay, Mikey. 
Mikey, do you already know if that add-on is acceptable by the EULA? If, it, if it's not, I'm not even going to bother to look at it and get my hopes up for something I cannot have. 100. Okay, cool. Jotaro's Boots. What does this sell for? 18? Alright, I'm just going to uh, try to turn it into an ectoplasm. Interested in something specific? Nice! Got an ectoplasm. Perfect. Alright. Sell the gray items. Goodbye. Ah, uh, double click. Bleach the morning. Okay, done. All right. Uh, dailies, 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 dailies. So on the fractal boxes, we've had the monsters, we farmed the guild instances, we farmed our home instance. Is that it? I think that might be it. I'm working on the new legendary they added today. Wasn't it like a trinket or something, Bayor? Open the box. Um, that's my backpack, if that's what you mean. Do I have another box in here that's hiding from me? Mm, I don't think so. The real life box? Oh, I never said it was a box, you goof. That's why you're messing with me. I said it was a package. I never said it was a box, so that's why I was looking at looking for boxes. We can do that. Okay. All right, chat. So, as I said earlier, let me switch to the the creepy close-up. Okay. As I said earlier, I got mail from Arena Net today. Uh, I said I got a package from them, is what I said. So I got mail. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Yeah, or packed it. Oh my god, really, dude. Okay, first, got this letter that I'm going to keep forever. Hold on. Addressed to Muckluck from Arena Net with a tiny human warrior guy on it. They've got their own stationery. We're gonna open it up. And inside, uh, I'll, I'll read the note first and I'll show you what it is. All right. I'm keeping this forever, by the way. Uh, this is this is handwritten, which make, makes it even more valuable to me personally. Let me get the focus right here. All right, uh, hold on. Muckluck, we are very happy to welcome you to the Arena Net Partner Program. Smiley face. Here are a few presents for you, heart. Uh, love the Partner Program team. And there is a tiny Asura. Uh, I believe that's a human dude. I guess that's a Silvari, and definitely a Char waving at us. So, again, they've got their own stationery. I'm keeping this forever. You cannot make me do otherwise. I'm carefully putting this away right now. Uh, inside of it is what appears to be a playing card. It says Guild Wars 2. And on the back is what appears to be a picture of Starbreaker's dead guardian. <laughs> I, the, literally the only person I know who wears this armor is Starbreaker's guardian that unfortunately dies all the time in fractals. <laughs> So, we get this card. Uh, we got a lanyard. So, I can hang whatever on that. I got a Guild Wars 2 Arena Net lanyard. On the verge of a and I've got a keychain here with an emblem on it. And on the back, it says Arena Net Partner. I'll put that on my keys. So I just be like, oh, don't mind me. Just read of that partner coming through. And the last item I got, which I am super grateful for. However, I did tell them in the kindest, most, uh, you, you know, friendly voice possible that because of the size they sent me, this thing is a dress on me. <laughs> I can't wear this. Uh, without, like, a lot of clips or something. So I asked very, very politely, after many, many thank yous, if I could possibly exchange this for one in my size. But, I'm gonna back way up for this thing. They sent me a shirt that has a, uh, is that a char? Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, it's like a char with a spear and a shield in their fancy uh, art style. 
and on the right sleeve it says Arena Net, and on the left sleeve it says NC Soft over here, and on the back it says Guild Wars 2. Yes, Tiger, they neglected to send me a kid small, you jerk. Yeah, I, I tried it on, and it looks like I'm wearing a potato sack. It's a gorgeous shirt, and if I can get one in my size, I'm going to wear it like, as often as possible during Guild Wars 2 streams. So, that was the that was the main item, was the shirt. And i super excited when I saw this come in the mail, because I was not expecting this. But yeah, uh, I'm treasuring this stuff. I'm saving it forever. If they will allow me to, I'm going to uh, uh, mail them back the shirt to get the uh, one in a proper size. But no, even if they don't, this is awesome. Just the fact that that note was handwritten, that speaks volumes to me. Even if it was some intern's job to forge that note for one minute of her time, it, me it means the world to me that they did that. So that's the main thing, guys. That's that's the surprise. That's what we got. I can put. I'm gonna put that thing on my keychain. We'll wear that around. Feels good. It feels good. It's 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 nice to see. You know, not that when I started streaming, this was like the end goal. There really is no end goal. It's just a constant goal of growth. But it's nice to see efforts recognized by people you respect very highly. So that was awesome. What is it? I just missed it. Oh, okay. Rallosaur. Speedrun, dude. Speedrun. We got a, a lanyard. We got a note addressed to Muckluck from Arena Net. There was some very nice things written inside. There was a card. Here, hold on. There was a card that has a picture of Starbreaker's Dead Guardian on it. Uh, there is a keychain that says Arena Net Partner with their emblem on it. And, there, and I got a Guild Wars 2 t-shirt. But uh, I'm not going to do the in-detail show all over again, but yeah, uh, I, I got that stuff. So it was just, it was really cool. And the note was handwritten from them, which meant the world to me, is what I was talking about when you arrived. Okay. So, uh, no problem, dude, no problem. I would like to spend maybe 30 more minutes on Guild Wars 2 Tops tonight. Like I said, I was planning to do some Last Epoch gameplay tonight, because to, um... I've done months of nothing but Guild Wars 2, and tomorrow I'm going to 100% be raiding the entire time. Uh, so, gotta get ready. Yeah, I, I just realized, Tiger. I've got, like, I told you, like, always do, I've got the, the stream on my to my left, and when I raised my hand to scratch my ear, I saw massive movement from my left. I was like, oh, big head. <laughs> and then I fixed it back. <laughs> Uh, so, let me go ahead and ask, would anybody, I'm asking this earlier than usual, but would anybody like to do some fractals? We're going to see what the response is. Do you know what boss you're starting on? Um, let me, hang on just a second. They asked me to learn what I could of, and I want to tell you, the, right now these names mean nothing to me. Vale Guardian. Gorsaval, Samarog, Cairn, Mursot Overseer, and possibly Deimos. And then there are there were some other fights, but they said the others were super easy to explain, and I did not need to spend any time looking at those. If you say so, Wistful. I'm not the expert on this department. Uh, okay, Chicken, I see you. So Chicken Tendos is up for some fractals. Do we have anyone else that is interested in helping me with some fractals? Or helping yourself with some fractals? There's there's money to be made. Uh, those are a good set of starting bosses. Some of you know those, but none of them super killers. I'll join for fractals. Okay, Whistle, I'll wait on you. Guys, we got two room for two more. Does anyone else want to join for fractals? We're just gonna speed run a few of them um, for like the next half hour. Ha <laughs> Uh, you know what, hold, hold on. So let me, I, I, this will only take a second to show while I wait on people to log in. So right there's the fractal portal. You guys that have watched my stream before have seen it a hundred times. Right behind it is this portal here. I had never been in this portal until they were trying to uh, show me stuff for raids. This is the Eero Dome. Um, apparently it's where they park their blimps in lore. 
But inside the Eero Dome is the entrance to all the all the raids. I think the lore excuse is you ride a blimp to get to the raid, but literally the portal to every raid is in this room. Arrow. It's right it's written at the bottom of the screen. The Aero Dome. I bet Japan loves Aero Domes. <laughs> so you arrive in here and you got all the would-be raiders sitting around oiling up their weapons. I don't know. Um, but all these ver look at all these portals. Each of these portals leads to another raid. Every one of them does. And there's repairs, banks, uh, blimps parking, a giant portal to purgatory. I don't. I didn't notice that until just now. But yeah, this is how you get to all the raids, guys. So it's all right here in Lion's Arch. V way more convenient than I thought it was. But. I arrived in here the other day, and one of them uh, invited me to this thing called, like, the Secret Ops Room, and I just hit Accept, and it teleported me there. And it basically had a target dummy, but it was standing in a damage field. And they had me... They beat on the dummy and had me heal them while we both stood in the damage field. And the first time I failed and got myself killed, and then I'm like, okay, hold on, and I switched my talents around, and the second time I was able to sustain it indefinitely. And after, like, two minutes, I was like, alright, let's stop, and I left, and then we talked about fights and stuff like that. Uh, you want to share with you some guides I'll explain manage you two are taking. Bayorn, if you think they're good uh, guides, uh, I'll take it. Some of the stuff I've watched so far was just like videos of people killing a boss silently with no explanation. And videos of explanation, but it was from the wrong people's point of view, so I wasn't learning a whole lot. Okay, so again, guys, I've got me, Chicken, and Wistful for Fractals. Or do we have two more people that would be interested before I pug? And there's Wisty, invite to party. We should PvP. Matt, no, I don't want to PvP against you again, man, okay? I Now that I'm finally strong enough to kill you sometimes, you're just gonna run around and kill all my friends. I know what's gonna happen, okay? Uh, oh, man. Oh, what is this garbage? Yo, the three fractals? The three tier three fractals that have three dailies are the freaking almost the top three. 70, 73, and 75. Ugh. Oh, that's awful. Alright, hold on. Let me switch to my fractal gear. Uh. Warhorn. Okay, so I'm at 92. All right, and talents. This is where I would love to be able to just hit one button and swap it. Uh, wilderness survival. Nature magic. All right, this is the typical raid build. Uh, 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 and switch my skills now. Um, I'm blanking here. Here we go. There we go. I was like, what am I doing? Hmm. You know, I think I would rather do this. Healing Spring. Healing Spring is easier in five mans. Water Spirit is probably better for raids. Okay. Uh, can you real check, quick check first one, just see if you like the style of the guide? Um, hang on. Let me pause the awesome music for a second. Let me see what this looks like. At least four players has to go in and take smaller damage or else all gets fatal hit. Usually Condis and Healer are dedicated for this. I wonder what that accent is. Second I don't know what are is. blue circles would spawn every ten seconds under your feet circle and can teleport you out of it, so be careful. Third, side mechanic are red bubbles called seekers. What is spawn around every Oh, is this a map of the area? I thought that was a chrome players. logo for a second. They Hold on a second. This big circle is split into th at least four players has to go okay got it bone in same time as green circle okay yeah yeah this looks promising I'll, I'll keep this open and uh i'll take a look at that later 
So is this is this Tekkit? Yeah, Tekkit's workshop. Oh, you know, I think I've seen you know where I've seen his name? Hold on a second. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's in the um he's an ANET partner. I I I I saw him there. That's cool. I, I didn't know. I, so this must be his content. He does uh, YouTube videos. I wonder if he streams as well. Cause I haven't I haven't actually spoken with him yet, but I, I saw him in passing. Uh, the taco marker packets. Did you finish your talents? Yeah, I believe so. I've got my talents set, and I've got my oh no, I didn't. I didn't. I'm a big fat phony. Tiger's got my back. There we go. I hadn't picked the druid ones. Okay. Um, all right, guys, I'm s I'm going to set up LFG, but again, if anybody wants to join us for tier 3 fr fractals, please speak up. Uh, let's see. Looking for group. Fra I mean, or I t the tier 3 daily fractals are super tough right now. I I would also be fine doing tier 2 daily fractals if we've got people uh, that's geared for tier two, because we could just blaze through those. Is there anyone here that would be interested in T2 that just didn't have the gear for T3? And, uh, Wisty and Chicken, would tier two be okay with you guys, just to make it a, a smoother experience for the day? And I'll go ahead and hop onto... Uh, okay, Mikey, I do see your message. I will look at that more later. I'll go ahead and hop in the booth. Okay, so... Let's see. Looking for group. Fractal of the Mist. Adapt. T2. Dailies. Oh, no, gotta... Sorry, we're on the wrong field. T2 dailies. We speak English. There we go. All right. All right, just waiting on a few more folks to get here. Got my icy axe. Good to go. Oh, somebody joined immediately. Nice, nice. They're a firebrand. Well, I guess two healers don't matter. Oh, I mean, they might be... I don't know. I've seen damaging firebrands in PvP. Is there such a thing as a damaging PvE firebrand? Like, maybe lots of Condi burn damage? I've seen Firebrands light me up on player versus player with burns. Burn brand. Okay. Quick brand is the term. <laughs> Why, are they Minutemen? Uh, I think this last one's Agony Resist might be a little low, but oh well. Let oh, I've got the wrong fractal selected, guys. I'm about to take us into... Freaking 68. Hold on. Let's start with Captain Mitran. That's just two fights. There we go. Welcome. Uh, quick Brand is a quickness firebrand, different than a pure DPS build. Oh, do they just give themselves quickness or do they give it to everybody? Uh, pulling chicken into the booth now. Uh, quickness to up to 10 allies. Okay. One thing I learned uh, recently that I did not already know is the talent in the druid that makes it to where you give two stacks of might to every ally within range so it says within range of your astral spell when you cast an astral spell it Let's doesn't say hit Follow by your me. astral spell so you can cast a spell that heals five people but ten people that were under the circumference of it will get the two might so i can like do pulsing regeneration and hit you know hold on uh, give ten people eight stacks of light. Okay. Alright, this is one of my... Uh, so many people hate this fractal, I love it, because it's just this fight and then the boss fight. That's it. That's all you got. 
Ooh, I got CC'd. Oh, how's our Fury going? Shoot, I need to... Can I swap uh, Fight Shrub out? Or is it too late? Alright, cool, I can. It's not like uh, PvP where you're locked in. Whoa! That's the first time someone else has started it besides me. Surprise me. Alright. Whoa, she is... Uh... Oh, that's okay. Regen's got her. I was like, she is dying. It's the shtick they bring to the group. I, I thought that, uh, I was under the impression that Chronomancers bring, like, freaking everything to the group. Do Chronos not bring Quickness? Alright, don't use too many abilities. She is immune to damage right now, friends. Oh my gosh. Yeah, bring her over here if we can. She... Oh! Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that hurt. Nice! That's some good kite. She, her shield is completely gone. That was good kite. The player she was chasing took very low damage from the electric field, but managed to get her hit by it like four times. That was really good. Maximum concentration, chat. Alright, doing a heal bomb on those two that are in trouble over there. I'm rooted to the ground, so I can't move right now. We want to take out the veterans, guys. Uh, the veterans are the only thing currently directly attackable. Oh, I'm gonna try to. Oh, they, okay, cool, cool. Oh shoot, another one's down. Oh my god! Wait, I can't even tell if that person's downed or dead. I think they might be dead. Uh, wait, why did they disappear? I was in the middle of, uh, reviving. Did they just... DC? Oh, it's chicken, says everyone's frozen. Okay, I wonder if he's disconnecting or something. Okay, that's bad. Look. Oh shoot, who's that person in low health? Let me fix you up, let me fix you up. I don't know what's going on with you. All right, her shields are 100% gone. Alright, we're targeting Horik again. Uh, the veterans are here as well. I see Chicken back online, but I don't see his body. Yo, this, uh, this... I don't know who that player is. We've got a really squishy person here, though. Damage is not the great greatest. Open. Putting a target on one of the vets. All 
Alright, nice. That one's dead. My Trin still has most of her armor. Uh, she's chasing me. I'm gonna try to run her through this. Try to do what that other guy did if I can. She lost a few shields, not all. Oh, here we go again. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to answer questions about my build. Let me just get out of combat. Alright, we got our shield down. Yeah, this is taking a long time because one of our players went Link dead, so we're short one of our DPS. Alright, she's untargetable. We can hit Horik now. Make sure you're cleaving the veterans as well if you get the chance. Leave them or hit them directly. Just make sure their, li their life is going down. Uh, I can't burst heal for a few seconds, Marani. There we go. Goodness gracious, these chillins! These chillins! Come on, Strawberry, get him! Oh, that's not good. Yeah, okay, good, I gotta heal off. Hork's almost dead. Nice, alright, Hork's down. Leave my trim and the one that's right next to my trim. Don't worry about that one that's really far away with full health. Uh, her health is lower than its health. Woo! Oh my. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. do you play often druid? You don't camp snaff like most people. Hey, Peter Snow. Uh, yes, I often play druid. I do not claim to be a professional at the game, but I have gotten to high tier three fractals, and I got to platinum one in PvP with druid. Um, the staff, both from reading guides and talking with other people who play like raiding druid, uh, people often refer to having the staff equipped too long as in combat as camping the staff. And camp staff is often thought of as a bad thing. Like, yeah, you're doing more healing, but the most I would ever do with it is swap staff, do 5-3 for a big burst heal combo, and then swap back to axe at the earliest opportunity. The axe, you provide more damage to the raid, and these two abilities, I want to be using almost on cooldown, because both of them pulse a 3,273 heal. A very strong heal to the raid. So I want to be... And also this pulses Fury, and that Fury combined with this talent gives everyone hit by my Warhorn 30% crit chance, not the usual 20, and also 250 ferocity. So I want to be doing these on cooldown for the heal and the ferocity. They're they're very strong. Um, staff I swap to only if my healing can't keep up. But even as bad as that fight just was, my healing kept up. I never felt the need to go staff. Uh, yes, Wistful. Pulling you down now. Sorry, I didn't do it earlier. And let's do Molten Boss. Uh, you can't get the beginning of the loot off and pull goes your AR through Frack 99. Wow, Peter Snow. Interesting. Oh, wow. Peter Snow does Fractal 99s. Peter, you probably knew everything I just told you. I feel silly. I feel silly. 
Uh, let me switch this up. I, I don't like the super sad here. music. Respite. No, Recover. but look. Return. We found the prisoners. They're forcing them to mine. We have to get them out. Hey, Bid Kizzy, how you doing? Worst enemy. Me either. All right, so I'm gonna summon the spirits back here, where I'm a little safe, and then I'm gonna run forward and summon them in the fight. I'm nigh invincible. I'm also using G with the tiger to emit its uh, fury as often as possible, so that my warhorn plus the tiger should be permanent fury. Uh, Peter, Fury gives 20% crit, but with this talent, look at it. Fury you generate and give to people is 30% crit and also 250 ferocity. It's, uh, I actually just learned about that talent recently and why it's so good, and that's the reason why. It does affect the raid. Someone's giving me quickness. I am throwing axes real fast. In full on war mode. They've got dredge working with them. Uh, been better. Been neglecting my stream, baby. Work and working overtime is killing my stream. It's uh, high key depressing. Luckily, tying them off, so I'm able to stream. Gotcha. I can understand that, man. I can understand that. All right, gonna resummon the spirits down here. Drop the healing well under them. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Healing Spring makes it easy mode to keep spirits out for the entire instance. Um, however, if you use uh, the water spirit, you can actually put out stronger healing numbers in like a uh, group environment or a raid environment, but it's much higher maintenance. I am doing a lot of zero damage on these things. What is going on? I guess we can only hit the brawler right now. A clever combination. That's the last. All right. Uh, can you re-put agony? You mean agony infusion skids? Yeah, you can put a new agony infusion. You can replace old agony infusions with new ones. I think you could remove them with an item extractor. But yeah, like, I'll always start with a plus five Agony Infusion, because they're super cheap, and then I will upgrade it uh, when I want to dedicate money to that. Oh, okay, my heal just got interrupted there. Okay, I'm gonna backflip out of that. All right, bridges up. Uh, I haven't spent three days where I used to be like whatever now because the social bit. It's working on my sandy paycheck fill. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Paycheck gonna look good. That's like Joe Neal's. He's like, yeah, I just worked triple shifts for two weeks. Friggin' making it right. Oh, dank, dank. I'm trying. You crazy boy. You running that far in? And I'm padding a lot of healing numbers, healing all these NPCs, though. Tell you what. Oh, I bet that was jumpable. All right. Big heal bomb on the team here. Patch everybody up. All right, drop out of Astral. But yeah, on the subject of, like, camping... Wait, what is this? Hamstrung. Uh, on the subject of, like, camping staff for too long, I really don't enjoy playing, uh, using the staff weapon. Um, like, I use it when I need to, and then I put it away. That's kind of how I always was with it in PvP as well. Like, in PvP, I would use it for the three just to get away from a fight, uh, just to disengage. And that was usually it. The rest of the time, I would use my other weapon, whatever that was. Hold on, guys. Keep uh, keep killing this stuff, or we're gonna be in combat, and these NPCs are gonna lag behind.
There we go. Uh, I think you need to be able to infuse a special way to add one. Um, wait, we're still in combat? Okay, there we go. I couldn't hit the miss lock because it said I was in combat. Now I can. Uh, I can't place agony in a pink eye. I don't know why. Uh, Mr. Skids, does it yeah. say you have an oh, infusion identified. slot? Like this ring right here says unused infusion slot. That's what you're looking for. Ooh, whoa, they interrupted my X3. Yo, having quickness this often is awesome. I guess that's the firebrand you guys told me about? This is fantastic. I feel like I've got just permanent bloodlust. Oh, it's the chrono? Okay, well, it's great. I like it. Oh, that's right. I'm in the, uh, gen. Yeah, oh, hi! The firebrand or the chrono. Uh, typically, that's assigned to the chrono, but depending on what this guy's build could be, could be a firebrand. It could be both. Oh, boy. Uh, let me see. Quickness. Source. Oh, no. Layla Grimm. Who is Layla Grimm? That's the firebrand. Okay, I guess we're getting it from the brand. Unless they're both doing it. I didn't expect this. When I tell my tribute, he's gonna pick up and dip him into his brandy. You don't have any of that on you, do you? I wasted Sorry, laurels. Yeah. This is not your lucky day. What did you spend thirty laurels on, Skids? Uh, as far as I see, you get more crit chance like the Revenant shape, but it might be done. Oh, Alright, target the uh, melee one first. Too close. To, oh man, I didn't. My reaction time wasn't good enough because I was too so close. All right, everybody's full again. All right, one's down. Uh, hey D Doc, this. I mean, I might be doing one more after this, and that's it. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna have room uh, in the party. But I will let you know, Doc, if we do. Feedback loop initiated. A clever combination. Get him, Strawberry. Move the spirits over here. Since we're fighting over on this side now. Looks like you guys are pushing him off the cliff really slowly. Nice. Really nice to send an necklaces for enrichment and infusion. Gotcha. I, I'll be honest, I don't even know what to do with enrichment necklaces yet. I've got... I have an enrichment slot in my neck. Does anyone want to educate me? Now this is a you can purchase uh, special enrichments that buff magic find, gold find, karma, uh, I think experience or some other stuff. I don't know, I usually don't bother with them, though. 
depending on the price tag, uh, I would get one. Uh, okay, so let me see. Guild Wars 2 Enrichment. Enrichments. Guild Wars 2 Wiki. There's 20% more gold, 20% more magic fund, 20% XP from kills, 50% more karma, 10% more world reward XP, 5% more world reward reward track, or 50% karma plus a visual aura. Uh, magical enrichment, enrichment costs 20 laurels. Oh shoot, is this the insanely long one? Yep. Something changed in the oh, teleportation man. algorithm. Okay, well. Lost in a sort of void. My assistant Yoko pinpointed the error, but it still took us days before we were able to bring you back. Glad to have you back. Not again. Hey Tan Atlantis, how you doing? Already on it. Listen, whatever's trying to break through that rift is too powerful for us to handle alone. We're scientists, not soldiers. I have to ask for your help one more time, friend. Finally! A foe who deserves killing. Make peace with your death, heroes. Oh god, we've already got somebody down. I'll go get him. Like eating the dirt. <laughs> she goes, Oh my god, my game minimized. I can't see as she's dead on the ground. <laughs> Roses are black, violets are black, everything's black. I can't see. My hatred can't be bound any longer. See, these are the kind of arrows I was thinking of back when I uh, saw the arrows on that boss, the champion bounty boss we did. Just got off work, now to chill and enjoy the stream? Well, I hope you do, Tan. I hope you do. Wow, you guys killed that fast. I barely got here. Yeah, we had two people doing over 10k. Am I one of them? Is Strawberry one of them? Nah, uh, our Weaver is. Holding me in suspense. Weaver's pretty good. Feedback loop initiated. Am I over 1k? Yes. Yes! Life goals! Oh! Six feet tall! Very good. Ah! Oh, shit. He's targeting me. Well, maybe this instance won't be so long if everybody here does awesome damage. Health increasing! I guess I need to dodge roll that at the last second. Come counting on powers! The anger! The rage! It must be unleashed! I'm nigh invincible! Doing good, chat. We're doing good.
Ah, dang it. I'm going to use my ult, hoping that we get to uh, one of those gizmos that resets your cooldowns after this. Ah! Oh my god, you bully die! Oh my gosh, as soon as I call him a bully, he knocked me on my butt. Rude. Trying to get my lunch money. So close to freedom. Do we hit the solar bloom? What was that last mechanic with the ball flying around? I believe that just does massive amount of AoE damage. Huh. Peter Snow, you troll. I know what that one does. Oh, we tripping. Yes, Tiger, it does. He's trolling. Whoa, what a trip. Where are we? Is that... I mean, it might reset your cooldowns because you die, but it does kill you. Here we go. It looks like we need an additional power source to open. Oh, you opened it already. Searing flesh from Alert. Alert. Well, I guess Alert. you already know what to do then. Detection noted. Assistance requested. Initiate. Didn't somebody tell me that um, that there's a way like you, there's an item you can get to just skip to the last boss of this place or something? Does that sound familiar? Hey, D Vader, what's up? Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I forgot about the bouncy thing. I'll, I'm on it. Really? Ah. Marani! Oh, did I miss it? There was one more bounce behind you. Oh. All right, look behind you. I uh, that. Okay, the other guy got it that time. Great success. Wait, what is that up there? I knew I'd huh. achieve this. I just got an achievement. Unit damage. Repair requested. Ow. Uh, Rich was only in a few shows, so the economy of coins would probably have like extra. Yeah, I'm looking at the one for um, more magic find. I would love to get that. So, if my one question with enrichment is when I get one, can I. Uh... Oh, there's another one up there. Hold on. When I get one, can I use a uh, removing removing tool? I just found three eight discs. Can I use a removal tool so I can reuse it? Uh. 
More strange new friends. Yes, you can take it out with an infusion extractor. Thank you. If that's the case, I'll happily spend 20 laurels to get 20% magic fine. Like that little one from earlier. Was much too serious. I was happy to see him go. Stay. Let's play a game. Let's entertain one another. All right. You know, I don't think I've ever done this fractal. Well, allow me to be your guide. There's a lot of playing catch with this lady. That that's what I remember. Uh, and she summons. She she's like a OP mesmer. She summons clones. I'm not sure if I'm hitting the right one or not, but I'm hitting one. Uh, run to the dome, run to the dome. Oh, never mind. It's the, the person that gets the skull on their head has to run to that dome that just appeared back there. Mm. She summoned a clone. So many ads. Where does she go? Watch this. You won't believe your eyes. Truly. Oh, there's another strange certain object down there. I need it. I killed mine. the bouncy ball so we, we have to fight her while we keep the ball in the air there you go we have beaten her with beach volleyball you have a knee brace. Slipped at Walmart and hyper extended my leg. Oh my god, D Vader. Leave it to Walmart to injure a man. Have a knee brace on just hobbling around. Did you at least slip and like spilled milk or something so you can get like $50,000 from Walmart? Nothing helps the knee heal quicker than $50,000. Let's give it another try. Oh my, the damage is... We've got somebody down. I'm trying to heal people. Where's the downed person? Okay, here we go. Oh my god! Bro, I've never actually had someone drop that before. I did not know what that did. It turns out it hurts a lot. Such fun. Oh my gosh. Alright, the middle one's down. That one's down. That one's down. You're d oh, it's me. Ah. Oh man, it's got like, electrocuted or something. We almost got her, chat. It's been so long since we talked. I miss you guys. I am 
Three percent. I am never going to successfully dodge that today, am I? There we go. All right, what's that a certain object over there? Is that another key? Oh, I can't reach that. Ah, oh, I can't reach it. What, like three islands back, there's an Asuran object I missed. It's one of the keys. Doesn't see. You should be able to jump in there. Creatures from the beyond. Yoko's here. Oh my gosh, I would not have dared try that until you told me to try that. You found a power source. Good. Let me just. That's a four data. Oh wait. Oh, there's one up there. Oh. Okay, I was gonna res you. Oh, it says I've already picked up this key. Why do I still see it though? That's so nice annoying. Work. Now, let's see. Looks like that's power to the main portal. Yes! I did it! Uh we did it. Alright, I head back to that boss lady. We're not going into that. Are we? Uh um oh, You should be able to slash GG and respond at the uh at the center point? Uh, suicide is against my religion. Ask me if I'm religious. No. This place is incredible! Wait, are you religious? No. Wow. Just, just look at it! Uh, it's storming here now, just goes to show you chat, stay inside. Inside is the best. What now? Run diagnostics! Diagnostics complete. User ineptitude exception one one eight nine. User ineptitude exception. Obstinate. Ungrateful. Reboot. Reboot completed. Hello again. Somebody started it before I could grab the well, squad. Alright, let's do this. Sequence interrupted. Oh, oh, I didn't do it in time. We need to get his attention. That's okay. My ult's up in twenty seconds. Energies contained in those solar blooms. In effect, wonder if. Sorry. Try knocking them into those reactors. I'm interested in apologies. I. AI personality feedback to system architect. System architect currently logged in. Alert. AI personality. You. How are you here? Unimaginable. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. It's okay. We're just here to, you know, stop you. You're literally tearing apart the fabric of the mists. You can stack up some regen in that if you fancy it. Go away. You know, you can stand in that for an achievement if you've never gotten barbecued before. See? This is the price of your incessant ah! desire to pry into things beyond your understanding. Tacky oh my god. Quit, spin <laughs> quit making that thing spin around. I recognize this? It on that dreadful pirate you mercilessly slaughtered over and over and over again. Stay oh, that's Horrocks Cannon? First. This weapon's full potential is about to become a reality. I did not listen to what he said the last time I talked to him. Uh, as long as the healing spring is down, it cures Condi's every pulse, so it should also break your fear. Had enough? Oh, no, nope, it's me. I'm the one who's exploded. He's got an eye. Oh, don't you oh, dare. Oh, no! Uh, what are we gonna do? Oh, we gotta knock the orbs into the pillars. Oh, no! Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. The last orb! Ah, oh, crap. I don't know if you can dodge roll this attack. I'm gonna try, though. Res him, res him, res him. If I say it faster, the res happens faster, right? Oh, uh, that's how I understand. Yeah. Okay, orbs again, orbs again. Harness the chaos of interminable space time! Oh, interminable! Ah. Uh. Oh, that's me. 
Uh, when you get the eye, you have to face away from the boss so you get fear in you. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is only my second time doing this boss, and the last time I feel like it was over a month ago. I'm a reckless thunderhead. No. Oh, I didn't realize the eye was going to appear in the air over there. Oh god! Feedback loop initiated. I actually really like how they turn these mindless fractals into and the fact that you do them repeatedly into an actual plot line. He's like, yeah, this is the gun from the pirate you killed over and over and over and over. I'm like, wait, what? You know about that? Hi, look away. Somebody's got a bomb. Me. Uh, the orbs. Hit the orbs. Ow. Oh, man. I messed that up. Dodge roll! Actually, wait, was that not a bomb? Maybe he just buffed up. Hey, Peter Snow 95! I thought you were already following! Well, thank you, buddy! Mark like Douglas, by that of me, Reginald Esquire, the fourth welcomes you, Peter Snow 95, to the bone zone. Mm. What's happening right now? I am the feedback loop such synergy! DDR stability, 60%. Dance Dance Revolution stability is dropping. Ah! 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 I was so not looking at you, you lying eye of Sauron. Uh, help me res the dead if you can. Oh man. Get up! Alright, swapping to staff for the first time tonight. Alright. That should be recovered enough. Okay. Back to Axe. Freedom, help, liberation. There's still another ad over there. I don't know how important it is we kill it, but I'm working on that. Okay, back on the boss. Oh, darn it. I got hit by the ring. No! Oh, I've got the I got the bad mojo. Uh, orbs. Oh man, the other one's on the opposite side. Oh, I think he's. Dead, dead. I'll keep reviving. You knock the orb where it needs to go. I think it's gonna fall. Oh, it's me. I harness the chaos of interminable space. Get Alex up in the middle. Oh shoot. I'm only committing to this because I'm so close to getting him up. I'm 
six feet tall. All right, I don't know if my decision making there was the best chat, but we did get everybody up in the end. But as a healer, I'm not sure if I should have played it like that, to be honest. I really tunnel visioned resing that guy, but the whole time I was thinking about everything else I could have been doing. That's fine, nobody, uh, nobody else went down, so. Hurts, doesn't it? Feedback loop initiated. Oh, my spirit died at some point. That's a bummer. Eight percent on this boss. This is getting serious. Oh no! All right, big heal. All right, swap staff, heal bomb. I harness the chaos. Nice. Woo! You know, honestly, when I queued for this one by accident, I was like, oh man, this is the long one. I don't want to do the long one. I was having a lot of fun at the end there. This isn't a place for explanations. Quickly! Uh a skin unlocked. Ceremonial focus. Are you the nuisance responsible for decent? Hmm. Um, okay. Let me catch up on the I, I am gonna tell the group that that's that was my last one, because we've got two pugs here that aren't on Twitch. Uh, thanks guys, and I'm just going to politely leave the party. Okay, let me catch up over here. Sorry it's been so long, my friends. Alun Bell, I see you. Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, da, 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 da. take it out of fusion. You know magic find has diminishing returns. Um, I don't have much magic find though. I mean, if, if I get the magical enrichment, that's 20%. Then I get, like, what, 10% from the guild daily bonus if I choose to use that daily bonus. Um, what other magic find do I have? Oh, the magic find from, uh, just, uh, on my account, right? I think I'm at 123%. Is there a way to look at that? 134%. Uh, achievements tabs. Okay. Uh, I found it under the equipment manager as well. Uh, equipment says 134%. It's, uh, underneath boon duration to the right of agony resist. Um, if you already has like 150 YouTube, probably, probably not worth. I mean, it's an empty slot that would rot anyway. What are the other options? There's gold. Here, hold on. I'll put it up so you guys can see it. So there's gold, more gold from monsters, which is not much. Magic fine, more XP, more karma. I don't do world v world enough for it to be one of these. It would have to be one of the top four. I don't spend karma much. Karma doesn't translate to a lot of gold. So, I immediately take one of the top three. I keep coming back to Magic Find, honestly. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, da, da, da. How's everybody? Hey, Lone Sunflower, if you're still here, doing great. I was tunnel visioning a boss fight that was over 10 minutes long. I'm sorry my response was so slow. It's about what happens. She doesn't have good tread, it's running a lot. It slipped on a dang parking stripe. Oh, shoes. You said she's, and I'm like, is he talking about his truck? Like, it's, okay. Uh, here we go, da da da, oh, this is ABC chat. These words are targets at ATC, as you see the eye, you have to face away. I saw that during the fight. Um, uh, use my neighbor's truck until it gets better. Actually, is a CC skill somewhere given? Oh, Peter, thank you. Um, again, I, that sounds like it rings true, but I did not remember that the special action button was a CC break, or I would have been using it to get out of those fears. Also, when he did the gravity bomb thing, I would have used it then as well. Uh, oh, that's harder. Do you like chicken strips? I love chicken strips. Dude, I will happily go to a restaurant and order off the kids' menu. I'm, I'm fine with that. The kids' menu has the best food. Is this Druid? Ambition, I hope someone answered you already, but this is Druid. Um, when I do group play or uh, raids, I... I do support heals. Uh, I do damage anytime no one needs healing, but I mainly do buff support and healing first priority. And I have a lot of fun with that. It's a lot of responsibilities to do. Uh, I just did a fractal, blood root or whatever. I'm not sure what blood root is. is that, sounds like it might be the swamp one with moss man. Downstate over dead is usually the way to go. Yeah, the dead guy was like three quarters resed when the second person went into downstate and i was like ah might as well just stay here i've almost got him up and that was when i was there 
General rule in raids is the healers shouldn't res unless they have an auto res skill like search and rescue and stuff. Right, and I did have the, um, hold on. The nature spirit was out. If, uh, if I had remembered, uh, now the thing is I would have had to get close to it. I could have run over to the downstate person and used its activatable and it'll do a wind up res. Now that doesn't work on dead people, that only works on downed people. But I did have that option. Um, I got kicked from Discord for defending somebody, good grief. Not, as Tiger said, not all Discords are equal. Some Discords... Yeah. This reminds me of a saying I use a lot in daily day conversation. I think it just barely makes the PG cut. And some, if someone's like, oh, well, uh, I think it's cute, or I think that's attractive, and I'll be like, well, some people find sheep attractive. That doesn't make it right. Discords are the sheep, okay? Discords, you could you can have a Discord for anything. And that doesn't make what they're saying or what they're doing right. Don't let it get to you. Estaz, uh, stay away from sheep. When somebody's being bullied, I just can't stand by a lot. Devader, I'm pretty much the same. Uh, someone commented the other day that I got really heated up because I was like, No, that's not okay! I was I was doing the two-finger point. That's how you know it's serious. The two-finger point. You mounted up with your white horse in armor. Uh, I don't know if it's a white... I, okay. The white... God, Matt, you're doing it again, man. Do you think it's white horse in, uh, in armor if you're defending, like, a child being bullied? Like, I think the white horse chivalry tirade came about when it'd be, like, people trying to do the white knighting to impress girls. If you're def defending... And when you defend a girl, that doesn't make it automatically white knighting either, but... He didn't even say the gender or the age group or anything. Uh, I keep coming, my eyes just keep coming back to Estaz's comment. Well, I've said it before, I identify as an Apache attack helicopter, so it's fine. Okay, let me clean out these bags, you guys, and then we're going to play some Last Epoch, which I haven't touched since, like, five patches ago, so there's a lot of new stuff in there, and we're going to check it out for the re uh, remainder of today's stream. Um, da -da -da -da. Let's open these up, get that money, get that money, get that money. Do I have any unidentified blues? Or is it just green? I do. Somewhere in here I've got 17 blues. Where's the blue stack? There it is. Okay. And... Alright, and the yellow stack. Two Man, items. Valuable. Okay, so we're left with this. Consume the luck. What is this? Uh, so those gloves and this exotic weapon I unlocked. All right, so let's salvage these bind on. Th these were already account bound the moment I got them. So it's just vendor them or salvage them. Oh, cool, I got three exotics for salvaging. That got me six ectoplasms. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, uh, another bag of stuff. Uh, the medallions just go straight to the marketplace. Da -da -da. And then I just need to visit a uh, vendor to sell gray stuff. Um, okay, Muck, when your dad enters chat, do you think it gets kind of strange? Like, do you activate a certain filter for your parents? Hobbits, I think... Like many, I'm not gonna say most because I don't uh, I don't claim to know how most families operate. But I think like many people, um, even if you've never actually thought it, I think once you hear these words, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's kind of true. You've got a different version of yourself that you display depending on who you're talking to. With your best friend, you will act a certain way. With your parents, you might act a certain way. With your grandparents, you will act a certain way. Like, you, I think it's common in families, you know, for the parents to be like, all right, you know, act a little bit nicer. We're going to grandma's house, you know? She's know she's dying. <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, you know, with children, you act a certain way. You, you probably, most people's first instinct is not to cuss up a storm when they're around a kid who's learning their first words, you know? Now, that said, that said, the first few times my parents, like, popped into the stream just to see how I was doing, because they are interested in what I'm doing, 
Um, I did feel a little bit of awkwardness, sure, but ever since I've started doing like a PG stream, which was like five, six months ago, I don't really have to change much. Um, and yes, touch me not, I got a net partner, what was it guys, a week or two ago? But today I got a gift package from them celebrating the ANET partnership. And we uh, we opened that up earlier. Um, it was a, uh, a hand... Oh, hold on. Let me do this so you can see it better. Uh, it was a, a handwritten note. It was very, very cool of them. Uh, a card. A... This is one of the coolest things. A keychain with their uh, emblem on it that says ArenaNet Partner. And... Oh, uh, uh, oh, God. I can't think of the name of it. The, the neck thing. Oh my gosh, my brain is frozen right now. The, the neck thing that you hang things on. And also a t-shirt. They sent me that stuff today. But the, the note was my favorite thing, because it, it was written by hand. And it, had some, it said some very sweet things. Lanyard, thank you. I, started, I kept starting to say lasso. I was fixated on the letter L. Okay. Object, oh man. There was a comic I read once where this guy, like he's like, he couldn't remember a word, and he called a microwave a nuclear raider. And that, any time I can't remember a word, I think of nuclear raiders. More violets, I say. Less violets. Uh, oh, no, not that, not that. All right. Okay. So, that, whoa. The best prices around. This raptor looks like it came out of Seize Tron. I haven't seen that skin before. I know your face from my At least you didn't say noose. No, that's a tie. Remember to change up your category. Yep, 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 yep. So, I'm just going to end the Guild Wars 2 section of the stream by saying I look forward to trying out the prototype position rewinder in the uh, Chalice of Tears jumping puzzle. I'm a mesmer, guys. Look at me. Does it show something in my hand? When I equip it, there's something in my right hand. Can I see it here? No, I can't see it there. Hmm. I just find your face really big. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, today's stream is just this the whole time. And for a wild ride, chat. Hey, it could be worse. You could just be looking at my lap the whole time. That's happened before. Backup camera. What is this song? Alright, let's go back to this. Okay, so I'm gonna pause there for the night. Um yeah, so very productive guys that came with me to the fractals. Extra special thank you to you guys. Uh I'm gonna stop here. Please remember if you're in the guild, we've got three synthesizers now, so make sure to get your free stuff there.